First, let's go ahead and click on the Start menu. Then navigate to Microsoft Outlook 2010 located within the Microsoft Office folder in All Programs. Outlook will open and your inbox will appear. On the bottom left side of your screen, you will see a list for your mail, calendar, contacts, and tasks. Go ahead and click on the calendar. Let's take a second to go over the user interface. Microsoft has added a new feature to their Office suite called the Ribbon. The Ribbon is where you will find most of the navigation tools and menus in Outlook. This will be very useful as we continue with our training. Your calendar will be open to today's date, and you will be able to see all of your scheduled appointments and meetings. To change your calendar's current view to week, work week, or month view, select from the options within the Ribbon. There is also a Schedule View feature, which is useful when trying to schedule appointments. We will be covering appointments in Part 2 of this video. To navigate to a specific date, use the mini calendar located on the left side of your screen. You can also use the Go To feature within the ribbon. A window will pop up, and you will be prompted to enter a date and choose the view you would like to use. This is a good tool to view dates, months, or even years in the future. To return to today's date, let's click Today. Lastly, you can view others' calendars by clicking on Open Calendar from the ribbon. Choose From Address Book, then double-click on the appropriate schedule and click OK. The calendar will then appear beside yours. To close the calendar, click the X on the top left tab. You can also use Open Calendar to view the schedules of rooms on campus by using the same technique.